Hey Mac, what's up G? Do you know what happens when you start early? I do G, you grow wealthy. It's time for Money with Mac and G. Finance for you and your family. This is awesome, woo! What's going on? Why are you so happy? <laughs> Didn't you hear? We're free, no more school. What? Do you mean they canceled the rest of the school because of coronavirus? Yep. I think they're trying to keep us safe, though. But we still have to do e-learning, don't we? <laughs> sure do. Four days a week from 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. Can't wait to do jumping jacks for P.E. via Zoom. That is going to be weird. At least I won't smell you. Be you Funny. Who cares? It's Education Freedom Day, baby! Didn't that just sound like something Dad was talking about in the last podcast? Wasn't it called Tax Freedom Day? Freedom! Yeah, now that I think about it, it does. Totally excited about getting off of school. This is going to be so fun. By the way, what do you think Dad's thing is all about? No idea. Do you think it's the one day when you don't have to pay any taxes at all? I don't know, but I'm sure that would make him totally happy. He'd do that thing where he dances and sings around in his robe. Yeah, remember that last time with the big tax refund? The dude needs to tie his robe tighter. You said it. My eyes hurt for a week. Ouch! Dad did say there were a ton of taxes, and having an entire day to get out of them would sound awesome to him. Yeah, you're absolutely right. That would probably be the best gift you could ever give to him. Happy birthday! It would be better than Christmas. What do you say? Should we ask him? Sounds good. Dad, we, we want to hear about Tax Freedom Day. What's all the noise up there? You guys okay? Did I hear something about Tax Freedom Day? Yep, but first we were talking about Education Freedom Day. That's an interesting name. I think we had those when we were kids. Isn't that the last day of school before summer vacation? Oh, yeah. Come on, Dad. You probably heard the big news. Uh, no, I didn't. What is the big news? Are you guys getting a job? No, no, I got it. You're going to move out and start paying your own way. In your dreams, Dad. We're only 11. We can't move out yet. Okay, I was just kidding. Come on, Dad. We're going to live with you forever and ever and ever. Oh, no, you didn't say that. They just announced that school was over for the rest of the year. You're out of there! Seriously? Canceled. Drop. Scrapped. Scrub. And even scratched. It's about keeping you guys safe due to corona, isn't it? Wow, you guys are really fired up about getting an extra two months off. Heck yeah, Dad. Two months, baby. That's almost doubling summer vacation. That means a lot more video games. That's right. And more time with you and Mom. Two months. Party! <laughs> two months, two months, two months! Uh, okay, okay, I get it. But we're still in lockdown. One of these days, this will all be over and things will be back to normal. That would be great! But after our extra two months off... <laughs> so, Dad, maybe you could tell us a little bit more about Tax Freedom Day. I'm really getting into Freedom Days now. I have a theory. E equals MC squared. If tax day is normally April 15th, is the next day tax freedom day because you're free from taxes? Well, that's a really good theory, bud. And it's funny that you mention April 16th because in 2019, April 16th was tax freedom day. So I was right? Whoop, whoop. Who's your daddy? Who's the king? <laughs> Great guess for sure, G. But Tax Freedom Day changes it each year. It shows how long we have to work each year to pay for all the taxes. Money, 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 money. Wait, are you saying everyone in the U.S. would literally have to work and hand over three and a half months of their income to pay for all their taxes in 2019? So you pretty much work for free just to pay taxes for three and a half months? Yep, if you count, that's 105 days of the 365 days in a year. Not quite a third, which means two days you get to keep and one day goes to taxes. Ouch! Yeah, Dad, that really hurt my ears just to hear that. Kind of like a chalkboard. I agree. 
Around $3.5 trillion goes out to our federal government in Washington, and another two or so trillion dollars goes to state and local governments. That's around $5.5 trillion, and yes, that hurts. That's huge. That's a lot of damage. But it's hard to imagine how much a trillion means, let alone $5.5 trillion. Okay, here's a question. Is that more than everyone in the U.S. pays for clothes in a year? Or is it possibly more than what we pay in the U.S. on food each year? I am so hungry. Or is it more than we pay for everyone's home? Well, it's actually more than all of those combined. It's the cost for all the food, all the clothing, and all the housing spent in the U.S. for the entire year. That's unbelievable, Dad. I agree, buddy. Well, I was thinking Tax Freedom Day was going to be happy. But now I think I need a minute to collect myself. Yeah, me too. That's a little hard to digest. That's funny, G. Thinking about the way you wolf down food, I would think you could digest anything. Funny, Dad. Okay, there are a lot of taxes. Since income tax is the biggest part, I think it makes sense to understand how it works. Dad, when you do your income tax, you say you do a calculation. Do you guess or estimate your income, add it all up together, and pay that amount? Well, hold that thought, because we'll get into that. But first, I think it might be best to tell you about the structure of our income tax system. It's called a progressive tax system. Did you just say it's a depressive tax system? That makes sense. I was a little depressed when I heard all about those taxes we paid to calculate Tax Freedom Day. Uh Mac, I think you said progressive, like progress. Isn't that right, Dad? You got it, G-Man, but it does feel a little depressive at times. With a progressive tax, you pay a higher rate the more money you make. You need to think about it like steps. Okay, I'm not totally getting that idea. We get taxed like the steps in our house? I'm with G on this one. That sounds a bit out there. Okay. The first time you hear it, I agree. It's totally weird. But there is a different tax rate for each level of income. Let's make it easy. Please do. Tax rate, steps, progressive, Altogether, it sounds like you're speaking a different language. I agree with Mac. It's like a financial language. Gee, in your video games, you have levels, right? As you progress to each level, you earn more points. You can then buy cooler and more expensive stuff, right? Yes, true. Okay, I didn't see that coming, though. Video games are like taxes? Are you mentally insane? You actually dropped progress in there. And... Dad said it with each level is like a new step, which earns you more. Is that right? I think I'm starting to get it, Dad, even if Grant isn't. You're absolutely getting it, Mac. So let's say there are two people. One earns a salary of $10,000 and the other $20,000. That's their income. Are you with me so far? Yep. One is a lower level and the other one is on a higher level. Low level? High level! Perfect. So the government tells us how much to pay at each level. If you aren't married, you're called single. Starting with the first dollar you earn, up to $10,000, you pay 10% in income tax. So you would pay $1,000 if you made $10,000, right? Because 10% means you pay $10 for every hundred? You got it. But once you make between $10,000 all the way up to $40,000, you're going to pay a new higher rate, which is 12%. So is that the next step or level? Yep. Keep going, G. Okay. So if you made 20000 the first 10000 is taxed at 10%, which is 1000 and the next 10000 you would earn would mean you pay 1200 So the government earns more in the next level. Exactly. The government is the one playing the video game. They want people to be successful. The more income someone makes, the more tax the government earns. Does that make sense? So if I was a government playing the game, my goal would be to help as many people make as much money so I could earn more money through taxes. I think Grant's totally got it. Is that right, Dad? Yep. So what is the total tax if you make $20,000? $2,200, which is the tax on the first level of $1,000 plus $1,200 on the next level. And in this case, based on the example, the average is 11% because 2200 divided by 20,000 is 11%. That's a lot of numbers. 10%, 11%, and 12%. G, 
You pay 10% on the first 10,000. You pay 12% on the next amount. And the average is between the two. Mac and G, you make a dad proud. Numbers, 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 numbers. So, a progressive tax increases the tax for the income at each new level. Once you pass a level, you're done. Exactly. Once your level is complete, just like in video games, you can't go back. Unless you start over, which means a new tax year. That makes sense. So, when I think of the highest level, what's the most the government can make? Well, currently it's 37%, but that's for those people who make over $500,000. That's a great number to know. But do you know the highest rate we've ever had? Don't you dare ask that question. Was it 45%? No, 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 no. Wait, uh, 50%. Oh, I'm going with 60%. Wait, no, 65%. Well, in 1944, the highest tax rate was 94%. No way! That can't be true! Liar! You have to be making it up. Nope, but it brings up the next question. What goes into income? And what's the big calculation you have to do that takes three and a half months? Don't you just take your salary off your paycheck? Dad, that seems really easy. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Well, that would be super easy. And for many, that's it. But for others, you have other things that you have to do because you make money in different ways, right? Are you talking about stocks and bonds as well as other investments? Like interest and dividend income? You both rock! That's exactly the part I'm talking about. And what do we know about making money in stocks? Buy low and sell high. Awesome. You have been listening. Now, if we have an example, what if you buy a stock at 23 and sell it at 35? Then you make $12, which is the difference between what you bought it and sold it for. Is that the income too? Money, 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 money. It's a special type for sure. That's called a capital gain. And there is a difference in that tax rate as well. Isn't capital the money a company puts together when they start? You can sell stock or you can borrow money? Absolutely. Capital is really important to get companies started, just like the capital city of a state is a really important place. The tax rate is actually lower because the government wants you to invest. Why do they want you to invest? Is it about creating more jobs? Which then turns into creating more taxes. You're both right. The more growth, the more jobs, the more taxes, and the cycle continues. So it's good to see capital gains. Sounds like you have to keep track of things for a long time. If you bought a stock years ago and sold it today, lots of paperwork. Sounds like a capital pain to me. Nice one, G. That was funny. <laughs> You're right. It can be tricky. But remember when we spoke about the broker that can buy the stock for you? Yeah, I thought you said he was a joker. <laughs> well, the broker or the company that holds your investments would help keep track of those things for you. So I wouldn't worry about it too much. Okay, but the calculation is tricky, right? Yep. You would use a computer program to calculate your taxes for you. You use computers pretty much every day, and now with e-learning, you're going to use it more. But the software program asks you lots of questions to figure it all out. Is that why you have all those papers you look at? Yep. So you use those papers to put information into the computer system? Yep, you got it. You have to wait until you get all that information put together. That's one reason you get until April 15th to complete your taxes. But here's a simple rule. Normally, if you get money, it's usually taxed. So what information do you get that you need? Maybe you guys can tell me. Any ideas? Your salary. Capital gains? Interest on your bonds? Dividends on your stocks? Excellent. And there are many, many more. I could go on for days. Blah, 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 Please blah, don't. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> okay, I'll stop there. How about the rest of the day is Dad Freedom Day? Agree. Thanks, Dad. Bye. Bye. Tax Freedom Day is an interesting way to look at taxes. In the U.S., we have to work approximately three and a half months to pay for all those taxes. No! However, it changes each year due to several factors. Taxes pay for so many things, and we'll get into that. However, understanding some of the basics will help as we continue to manage our money better, which means choosing the right investments that might be more tax advantageous. The progressive tax system is constructed to increase the rate of taxes paid as your income increases. It's like reaching a new level in a video game. 
for every new level of income, the percentage of tax for that level increases. We refer to this as a marginal tax rate. The higher you go, the more points the government gets if you think about it like a video game, because there are fewer people who make it to the higher levels. So what is calculated in income? If you're an employee with a salary, you definitely have to include that. We wait for our W-2 to come in, which has the information from your company for your total compensation, which includes your salary, your bonuses, your commissions, and other compensation. It includes all your payroll taxes, health insurance payments, taxes withheld during the year, and more. But in many cases, we haven't paid taxes for other income, which includes dividends, interest income, or capital gains. As we do our calculation, we'll have to add these to our tax return. That's a big reason the deadline to file our personal taxes is April 15th. Thanks for being here. Stay safe and healthy, and we'll see you on our next podcast. And don't forget to share, like, and give us comments. We love those. Bye! Bye.